Hey everyone, have I here been a video on Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle. In this video, we're going to be discussing the upcoming Saiyan Day Dokkan Festival exclusive Super Saiyan God coming to expecting both versions of the game on Global and JP. So with that, if you're new to my channel, like, subscribe, comment below, do all that good stuff. Let's go ahead and dive right in. And yes, all this information ended up dropping last night. Of course, I'm able to cover it right now, give you guys my thoughts, and really started with the official Dokkan Twitter page providing some clues, like a little puzzle. And then, of course, the com community was trying to figure things out. And then I seriously ended up tweeting, hey, we're going to have this new event coming. And then uh, Maverick says, you know, it's going to be, you know, God Goku, right? So uh, that's what we're expecting in the upcoming Dokkan Festival exclusive for Saiyan Day on 318. Again, we don't have all the details, but I want to give you guys my thoughts when it comes to this. Now, for me, I'm disappointed because I was really, really hoping for Rage Vegeta. I think that would have been a, a great option, but you know what? It's a business and God Goku will sell dragon stones and for people who are play to win they're gonna you know dive in uh, onto these banners here so when we're looking at super saiyan god goku right um interestingly enough on the global version of the game we ended up already getting an eza to the lr dokkan festival ex or not dokkan festival exclusive the lr uh yellow coin uh eza for gaku and he's a great unit overall amazing amazing unit there um, and then, of course, the EZA Tech Super Saiyan God uh, unit is a staple when you're up against, um, you know, movie boss or a pure Saiyan. Now, we should also expect a bunch of EZAs if this is going to be the Dokkan Festival exclusive Saiyan Day unit. And uh, we have the AGL, the strength, the physical, um, uh, Gaku's on there, the Int one as well. That should all get EZAs. And unfortunately, you know, the same name update does not provide your ability to go ahead and link up those units, but you can run multiple um, Super Saiyan Gods on a team. Now, let's talk a little bit about that because uh, I've been, you know, hearing and seeing discussions that, you know, people are like, well, what if it's going to be um, uh, a Super Saiyan, Super Saiyan Goku, right? And, and it's going to be transforming into Godku. And I'll tell you what, if they do that, that's that's going to be awful. Because look at we we all we've been getting is Super Saiyan Goku's, and uh, look at all the LRs, the recent EZAs. I, I don't want another Super Saiyan based Goku because that would be the initial unit, and then that's going to defeat really the purpose of really even having uh, both Carnival Super Saiyan Goku's. So I don't expect it to be that. I expect it to possibly be something else. Uh, again, we'll we'll talk about it in, in one minute here, but. When we're looking at the two major uh, units, right, the tech one and the int one, there's a couple things that you do want to look out for, right? Uh, they're both now easy aid, but when you're looking at this particular unit here, this is not on movie heroes. Now, it's the reason why it's not on movie heroes because they're thinking about um, not battle of gods, they're actually thinking about superheroes. So this actually ended up being on the superheroes category and not on on um, the movie um Battle of Gods because that would be just movie heroes and no superheroes because that was a Dragon Ball Z movie and again yes they did redo it in the anime and I think that's kind of where the confusion comes in why this isn't on movie heroes versus it's on superheroes right now on the flip side with the tech unit that's a little bit different it does it, it is on movie heroes and on superheroes because both really coincide within the um uh, the movie Broly, and then also a part of Dragon Ball Super, right? So, uh, again, Battle of the Gods was Dragon Ball Z, and Super um, Movie Broly, Broly Movie Super, <laughs> Super Movie Broly. So, uh, that is the reason why you see both of the categories on here, and not the, uh, both categories on this particular unit. I'm assuming it's going to be this unit here, right? It's going to be a version of this unit where it's going to be superheroes and not movie bo or movie heroes. So when you look at that, that's actually a kind of a good thing. You know, movie heroes is ridiculously strong. Um, they need to shy away from movie heroes for, for some time because that uh, particular team is is ridiculous uh superheroes as well but it looks like they're just going to add a few more units in the superhero um 
but you also look at like Universal Survivor Saga and those types of things on there as well. When they when they come out, it's going to be on superheroes as, uh, on top of that. So it's going to be interesting. This this Gaku, uh, however good this this unit's going to be, is going to be on a lot of categories. You can look and see here, and it's going to benefit a lot. Now again, depending on how they structure it, and I'm going to give you my preference here and how they structure it. Uh, I don't want it to be a baseline straight up Super Saiyan God Goku because again they don't they're not going to link up um, with the new EZAs or the LR here things of that nature and nor do I want a Super Saiyan Goku so the only other option right the only other option that they can do here is actually make this an exchange unit so the benefit of having an exchange a unit is the name right the name is the difference and then you're able to link up with particular units that are very common so if this unit here could be super saiyan ga goku and then exchanging the super saiyan goku uh, making that animation is when um, you know he's fighting Beerus in that little cave and then he goes super saiyan and even though he goes super saiyan he's still keeping the power level of super saiyan god right and I think that could be a great, you know, animation and an option for this exchange, right? Going from Super Saiyan God to Super Saiyan Goku. Now, it could be the other way around as well, where you go Super Saiyan Goku, right, with the ritual here and go Super and then Super Saiyan God Goku as an exchange. And I think that for me would be the only way that I would be very, very happy for the Super Saiyan Goku. Ver or Super Saiyan God Goku versus having him as a baseline Super Saiyan God Goku. Um, again, it, it would kind of defeat the purpose of easying this unit, and then all of a sudden you can't. Well, you can still run it, but you're going to run it as a floater position, things of that nature, not on a main rotation. Whereas this, you'll be able to run it on a main rotation and run Super Saiyan God in that remote, uh, the main rotation as well, and also the EZAs on top of that. So. That's what I'm hoping for. I'm hoping for an exchange. I can't think of anything else. Like a transformation unit is not going to provide this. Uh, I don't want this to be the Super Saiyan Goku or a base form Goku. I want it to be Super Saiyan God Goku. And I think this is a good option. So anyway, tell me what you guys think. Do you guys this? Do you guys think my idea here, this option here for an exchange, Super Saiyan God in a Super Saiyan uh, Goku uh, from when they were fighting in the cave in, in the Battle of the Gods movie, or you want the kind of the opposite of Super Saiyan Goku transforming into um, Super Saiyan God, but as a exchange, again, to run for uh, link purposes and things of that nature. But that is my thoughts about this unit here. Tell me what you guys think about Super Saiyan God Goku as the upcoming Saiyan Day celebration. Again, I am very disappointed because I wanted Rage Vegeta as the, uh, the the main the main main unit so but hey we're getting another goku it is the goku show so anyway with that if you're new to my channel like subscribe comment below do all that good stuff thank you all for watching keep on doconning we'll catch you later